Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Samsung Chromebook. This is 11.6 inches LCD screen, and as you can see, let me see if I uh, can show it to you. Yep, as you can see, the impact point is right in the middle here, and that itself cracked and shattered the screen. So I'll be doing a screen replacement, and I'll show you step by step on how to do that. By the way, this model here is actually a Samsung 503C. Okay, if I can show it to you. So here's the model, Samsung 503C. And um, we're going to do a screen replacement on this. So the first thing first, what you need to do is to press and hold the power button. So press and hold the power button until the light goes, goes, goes off, which is the blue light here on the top left. All right, so when the light goes off, the next step is to remove the bezel. So the bezel here is actually a clip on. So what you need to do is just get a prying tool, stick it underneath and slowly pry it open. So the bezel might have a little bit double-sided tape, the tape one too. The same time you might have uh, uh, like a clip on that you, you need to pry it open a little bit. So just work your way around, do not put a lot of pressure. And that should, you know, open up the bezel. All right, at this point here, you might want to flip it. Here you can see that there is in between the bezel and the clipper you might want to stick it in and just to you know free up some uh, some room so that you can remove the bezel after Okay, let me bring it back here. I think by accident I pressed the power button. So I'm just going to turn it off again. Alright, so let me see if I can, you know, separate this bezel. Alright, so the thing just come right out. Okay, you can put it on the side. Here is the LCD screen. So there are four screws that is holding onto the screen. So one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver. Okay. Once you have that four screws removed, the screen should be quite easily come slide towards you. So the screen would fall down towards you and we need to disconnect this cable right here. So as you can see that there's this yellow tape, this tape right here is trying to hold the, uh, the cable together with the LCD. And once you have the tape removed, let's put it on the side, um, you need to flip open the clipper. So there is another clipper right here. So you need to flip open the clipper and slide the cable away from you. So slide it out that direction. Okay, so once you have the cable removed, then the LCD will just come right out without any problem. All right, so your question is where can I buy the screen replacement? Now, I will have the link in the description below in this video. So you click on the link in the description below. It will direct you to either eBay or Amazon where you can find a replacement screen. Now, if you want to do your own research and if your screen is different than mine, this is what you need to look for. Here it says model number. It will give you a bunch of numbers here. But mine, I'm not able to see because there's a writing on top of the of the model 
So you just got to look it up here, the model and Google. Hopefully you can find the screen. Uh, make sure you match the connector as well. And once you have the screen, uh, the new screen comes in, then you can go ahead and install. The step is very easy. So it's the same process, but you just do a reverse way of doing it, right? So with the new screen, you come in here. First thing you need to do, make sure the clipper is open. And then you want to slide the cable towards you, so slide it back in. So once you slide it in, make sure you have the clipper, lock it down. So you secure the LCD, get the tape, put it back on, flip the screen, put the screws back on, and then put the bezel. And that way you would have, you know, a new screen. So hopefully this video helps. If you have any question, comment below. Uh, like the video if you if this is helpful to you until next time I'll make more video for you. Thank you. Bye. Bye